Hi there, it's Simone. Today I would like to share my monthly planning routine with you and these three books are uh, essential to my planning routine. Um, this is my reference notebook. I have it in a traveler's notebook, um, brown, standard size cover and uh, in here I have lists and all the things that I'm referring throughout um, the year or even across several years. Everything that I kind of like a collection notebook if you would call if you are speaking in bullet journal terms. Inside here I have two different reviews. One is my weekly review that I try to do follow every week which will set me up for a successful week and then my monthly planner review. And I'm sorry, this is such a bright pink, but I have just recently rewritten um, the steps that I'm going through to have a successful month. Um, successful meaning not in terms of super productive, but um, successful in that I know that I have um, not forgotten anything besides those things that I just don't do uh, or well consciously decided not to do things not like they slipped down some paper and I don't have them anywhere um, successful in leading a fulfilled and happy life um, yeah that's that's kind of the, the, the goal that I'm trying to achieve with my monthly review. Am I still on track to where I want to be? So the first thing that I usually do, so I have 11 steps and I'm trying to constantly refine, add in things, let take things out if they don't work. And what I have noticed is that when I I am using to schedule appointments and to um, have everybody in this house uh, on the same page, we use a calendar on our computers um, where everybody puts their appointments in, where everything is, we look if we have colliding things if we can get our kids to the places that they need to be. Um, so I don't use my planner, my paper planner for scheduling appointments. That is done when, I, when I'm somewhere or I, on my phone or on my computer. And um, then to visualize that um, I really like looking at a monthly view like this. Um, and before I even start planning out the rest of the month or before I start sitting down planning the month, I need to set it up. I like having a tiny bit of decoration like here or here that has been more before I moved into this planner, but right now it's it's tiny. However, I still try to set up my monthly um, view as the first step of um, the monthly review to see. And I, so what do I add into my monthly view? I add birthdays, I add my work week, I add appointments that are not reoccurring. So if my kids go to a team, do a team sport that has team practice every Monday and Tuesday, then those times will not go here. What will go here is my work schedule because the times change. Right now I just added in the days that I work because I, right now, most of my, the time, sometimes it changes from 10.30 to 10 or to 10, from 10 to 10.15. So I'm just putting down the days that I work. And when I start setting up my week, I look at my uh, work schedule one more time to make sure that I have the correct times in my planner. Um, then I write down appointments when my husband has days off, holidays, birthdays, as I said, um, 
and the pencil marks is my meal plan. So all of those things go in there. I also add in when I need to uh, start getting rent. My rent check ready, that goes in here. This is the first step at seeing and visualizing the month um, when there's lots of appointments, when there's lots of birthdays, when there's time off, school breaks, all of those th things affect me and I need to know in advance how much other thing, how many other things I can plan on top of what's going on already. So then when I'm done setting up the month, I will bring out my goals planner, which is this. This is another traveler's notebook uh, from Traveler's Company this time. It is the camel color and this is the brown. So you can see it's the passport size and I have been using this um, as a goals planner um, for almost two years now. So I moved into this, um, I think I copied the quarter one aspirations, but in the summer, of 2019 I moved into this goals planner and I really like the size I really like the way that I'm um, setting my goals but that is actually a video that I had recently published and if you want to watch that please go ahead I will link it in the description box below and also in the cards up here um, if you have more questions please leave them be below I'll happily tell you all about the things that I um, goal plan in here. I write down goals and um, I usually base them on my word of the year, which is healthy this year. And then I'm, I'm, I would love to have a healthy relationship with my husband, a healthy spending behavior, a healthy body, healthy mind, um, healthy family life, healthy kids, healthy hobbies and a healthy house, meaning clean, partially clean. And so I'm, I'm thinking about all of those things uh, when I set my goals. So what, and then I'm, I'm going to get um, quite specific in those goals. Um, I'm trying to, to look at each one of those and maybe find something that I can do to get all of those in a better place and in September this is it says September 22nd I checked back in and I looked what exactly what was I trying to get a, achieve in September and I found that I wasn't really on track and um, I usually write with a red pen what happened or if I was successful and why maybe I find a great excuse why I couldn't do these things. I, I had, for example, put down plan game days and I didn't even put them into my monthly overview. So I um, looked into and I scheduled a game um, day on September, let me check, for tomorrow, which is September 27th. So I, I, I printed invitations for each one of my children and my husband and invited them to uh, and challenged the, them to play a game with me um, just to make it more fun. And as I said, have a healthy family life. I, that's kind of how I use this as my goals planner. I, and then when I check in and see, so, how did it go? Was there obstacles that I could not get done? Uh, when the month is over, I also like to use my goals planner to um, look at just the month in review and see what were the highlights of this month. I tried to find three things that were sticking out that I really enjoyed. I try to find the challenges. So what kept me from achieving some of these goals? So for example, in September, there were lots of wildfires going on in California and we couldn't go outside. So I couldn't walk. I couldn't play outside with my children. I couldn't um, go on hikes. All of those things 
or challenges and so I will add those right here some of them I maybe I was too lazy or I didn't have enough time or I didn't make it a priority could be as well so trying to find challenges the the least I can think of the better but I also don't want to make myself feel like I'm the super champ when I'm not because I just don't write them down and then accomplishments are more things that are kind of like highlights I, I have found are often for me as especially memories that I make by experiences with when we go on a hike and I have a really great um, t conversation with my husband or my children or when we go on a hike on a walk or when we go to the beach and the ocean and I saw um, tide pools stuff like that experiences are often highlights for me this can be different for everybody and then accomplishments i feel are are more tangible things so maybe i made an appointment with my orthodontist that i had been pushing off for two months that's an accomplishment or i finished knitting my socks which would be another accomplishment things for me are more tangible and so at the end of the month i i have i haven't been doing very well with those challenges and highlights and i found that why don't i just do this and put this into my monthly planning routine so i won't forget um i often also have a page in my planner somewhere that says monthly ideas let me check it should be in the beginning of the month I don't right now but I often had maybe here here for instance I wrote down things that I wanted to do are my ideas that are maybe someday maybe ideas or things that still need to get done so I will sit down and review ideas that I collected throughout the month and move them to different lists. Is this something that is very pressing? Do I need to get it done next week? Then it will go onto my next list for next week. Is this something that is an idea that I had that I might want to get to it someday? Then it will go into my someday maybe list. Is it a crafting idea that is a really cool idea, but that I don't want to do right now then it goes onto my crafty ideas list all of those things I have lists for most of the time in this um, reference notebook so that I can put these ideas someplace and at some point in my life in the year in the month I will go back and review and find do I still want to do this when would I like to do this is this just something that is not interesting to me anymore can this move away from this list do I cross it out stuff like that okay then I go and review my monthly next actions list which is in August it was here September has been kind of a blur I feel very exhausted I feel like I'm not getting anything done that's why it looks like this so there hasn't been lots of things haven't been crossed off and before I can move into this I need to review all the things that I did during September cross them off and see what is still important to me and what I still need to work on and then I move it to the next list in um, October so I, I write I write down review my monthly next actions what happens to unfinished tasks I need to decide that then once I have reviewed all the things that I have done my highlights my accomplishments my challenges when everything has been processed I move on to what is important sometimes this is like intermingled because sometimes I know that when I look at the goals that I had in September I already know something that I would like to achieve in October maybe because I want to tweak this because it's not achievable for me right now or I have a better idea so it I write it down in here and this is more of a 
Sometimes it's very specific, but it doesn't really have to be. Um, it's more like, I would like to go on a date with my husband. And then for my next actions list, I am writing down, um, talk to my husband about what time it works for him, schedule it, and then um, maybe figure out what we actually want to do. So that wouldn't be on my goals list. That would be on my next actions, if that makes any sense to you. Okay, so when then I think about all the goals that I would like to achieve in October. I have reviewed those. I know what I may, sometimes they're very similar. Sometimes they're different. Um, so I'm going through my list of all the th seven healthy things and um, trying to come up with things that could move me towards that goal, that uh, bigger goal. And then I write them down. And then once I am done writing those down, I will look at each one of them and will um, figure out a specific thing that I need to do to make this happen. So in September I had, um, wow, I had um, walk outside every day. So track walks would be something that I would write into my next actions list. I wrote down that I want to do math with my son daily, track math with Linus daily, um, PT, physical therapy exercises every day, track PT exercises. September was lots of tracking and I know that I'm not very good at tracking so that was a very unsuccessful month especially for all the tracking things because I fell off after two weeks of tracking. So I know that in October, maybe I will need to find another way to make these things work because I know that I am setting myself up for failure if I rely on tracking um, that will make these things happen. All right. Next thing, I have my goals, I have my next actions, then I look, I make my next actions list. I'm referring to my goals for specific tasks that I can do to achieve those. I am looking at my cleaning tasks, which mostly are found here. Um, I often write down what I need to do. I also um, document the things that I did so that I know that if I do a monthly thing, I know that next month I need to do this around that time. Then I look at my declutter list bef before, or I actually copied Dakshina and um, found a declutter list online. Let me check if I can find it quickly. This one, this is from organizemyhouse.com. If you sign up for their some kind of email list, you get free access to these. And I decided to do those in August and, this, and September. I wasn't very, very successful in August because I started in on the 15th, but I wasn't successful in September either because we moved furniture around and I realized that I really desperately need to declutter all of my things my planner stash, my scrapbooking stash, my sewing stash, everything. It needs to be organized, it needs to be decluttered, I need to um, find places, I need to get rid of all the things that I don't use any longer. Sometimes I store things wrong. wrong. There were lots of containers that don't have lids and it, they take up a lot of space, so I need to find better spaces for those and so I made myself a new declutter list for those specific things and that's the list that I'm looking at and I'm picking things that I could work on throughout the month. Those will go onto my next actions list. Then transfer transfer all the tasks that weren't finished that still need to get done from last month. And then the last thing that I usually look at is my YouTube schedule. So I, I roughly plan out and put down ideas that I have. I try to put up a video every sun Saturday. So if I have those things and I do a, a 
monthly flip on the 1st and on the 15th, or I try very close to that date. And then, so I have four to six videos every month um, that I would like to put up. And sometimes I have ideas and then I need to find dates when I have time to film them and edit and all those. And those go onto my next actions list as well, right here cleaning tasks, all those things go there. And then in this book, calendar planner, this is the Hobonichi cousin. There is a, this monthly, well, yearly, half yearly overview in list style. And I'm, I really like the idea of indexing all those lists and all those pages that you might refer to later. I use this mostly as a journal, but sometimes I put ideas, lists that I might look up again. And so at the end of the month, I'm flipping through the whole thing and picking out all of those pages and all of those things that I want to index and refer to later, at a later date. So that's here. For instance, on August 29th, I thought about all the things that I would like to include in a um, reference notebook. I would like to redo this. And so I, I went through all the process already. I haven't had time to actually follow through, but when I am going to do that, I will refer to this page and I can just look where it is right here. All right. So index previous month, my kids get an allowance every month. I have a list on, on a Google sheet and I update that every month. So I, I often take notes or posted notes for things that they spent um, and then I update. So that's the next step, update uh, allowance list. And sometimes if I don't get to this right now because I don't have time, I don't want to do all of this anymore because it's a long list, I will just put this as a to-do list, to -do list item for next week. And then I know I haven't forgotten, but I'm not doing this right now. I also track YouTube and Instagram. So I'm just looking up the follower numbers on both of those and write them down, which is really weird. We're moving on to over to this side. It's so strange. It's already October. I can't believe. And then I, I struggle with this, but ideally I would then go and delete photos from my iPhone that I no longer need photos from iPhoto on the Mac, which I would love to, I do not, I sync from my phone to the Mac, but I don't want to keep any photos that I wouldn't print. So on the Mac, I delete everything else. And then I also, I store files that I download, um, or titles for my videos, sometimes the raw footage, I don't keep it. Some people do, I don't. So I delete all of this so that my um, hard drive is has enough space to edit videos. And then I sometimes also would love to move my the files that I don't downloaded into my uh, virtual filing system. And lastly, I want to update my budget page in my um, goals planner, which in September I haven't really keep kept track because I have spent so much and I put myself on a no spend for the rest of September and October. So please keep your fingers crossed, um, that I will be successful. And that is all there is. And then once all of this is done, I feel like I have a good grasp of how the next month is going to look. And I do not need to refer to this for my monthly review. Everything that I need should be somewhere in this planner. And ideally it should be for September, it should be on this, this page or in my goals planner. And yeah, so, so that is everything that I have to share. Um, I used to pick projects that I wanted to work on, but I have ditched this um, because I'm still suffering from 
um, my disc bulge and my arm gets numb and I don't want to put any pressure on the fabric crafty side that I do. I just want to do whatever I feel up to and whatever I can manage and that's that might be a thing that reoccurs when I feel better but for now it's just whatever. So if you have any questions on anything that I shared please leave questions down below. I would happily answer them for you and yeah I, I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you soon. Until then, bye!